Hello everyone, welcome back to our playthrough of the Pendulum Z Deep Savers. Gizamon said that I had to leave this poop on or I was going to get in trouble. They said like you had to look at it, they were really oddly insistent about it. They were like, they have to see it. The viewers have to see the big poop. Look at him. He's proud. He's proud of that large poop. I guess if you make something that's bigger than your own physical body, that, that would be something that you would want to like have immortalized in a sense. But yeah, there's a time. There's a time to let go of even large poops. And I'm glad to see that when it was time to say goodbye, Gizamon was able to smile. So this is Gizamon. You might be familiar with him. In fact, if you're not, I'd, I'd be kind of surprised. I mean, I'm not I'm not an encyclopedia on Digimon, but even I know Gizamon, okay? And that that's with, like, no information prior, right? Look at him. What a good classic. What a good classic old-school Digimon right there. Shooting lightning like a fool. See, and this is what I'm talking about. Elecmon and Gizamon sprites look kind of similar. Like, not really similar once you kind of get used to it. Like, you could, be, if, if you've been seeing them a while, you might be like, how the heck would you get those two mixed up? But it's possible, right? Because they both have that kind of hedgehog-esque body shape. But it's even more confusing because Gizamon uses electric attacks. And I'm, I'm confused. I'm going to have to do some research on that one later. But as you just saw, their effort is already full. Already filled to the brimming. And uh, they're, they're good to go. At least I think they are because I woke up at 9.30 and their stats were empty and they had no call sign so i think i messed that up but you know if one care mistake is not allowed to get what i want next then so be it there are other paths to get to the digimon that i want to get next having said that one plus to not letting you know who we're going for means that if i mess up i can still just pretend that that was the mon i wanted the entire time and then and then no one's the wiser right I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. You know I'm honest. You know when I mess up, I own my mistakes. Almost too hard. And I'm happy to say we continue to have this rookie situation where level doesn't matter. We don't need them to be a certain level. Also, because I had packed our uh, Karatsuki Numemon away, they're only... Wait, level 3? Oh, wait. You did get a traded thing? Maybe the level 3 boost is from shaking, rather. Well, no. When we started over, after we packed away Karatsuki Numemon, the egg that was that became Gizamon here was also sparkling and shining like it was traded. So I guess the game just gave us another traded egg. How nice! How nice! What a generous, generous device. So I've been in my lab developing new bomb scents and flavors because winter is almost upon us. You know, I said yesterday that winter is technically not here, which you know, depending on where you live, you wouldn't know it, right? It's it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. But no, it's not here. Okay, it's not here quite yet. It doesn't start till the 21st. And by the 21st, I'm trying to get out a winter themed bomb. I'm not going to do like holidays. I'm going to do seasons. I feel like that's, I don't know, less cliche and also more people can enjoy it, you know, because like if you don't like Christmas, God, I would hate to be someone that doesn't like Christmas slash doesn't celebrate it because it's kind of unavoidable. It's kind of like everywhere. I might have mentioned this before, but my family is very diverse, both ethnically and religiously. And yet, regardless, my Christian, atheist, Buddhist, Muslim family, we all come together and we celebrate Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, I, I mean, having said that, not everyone has to, you know, has to enjoy Christmas if they're not of the religious type. I mean, I'm not personally, doesn't matter really. Don't even need to tell you that. But I like Christmas, I really do love it. But I really do wanna make something that's just not holiday affiliated. I think that's, I think that's just, uh, it's nice. Plus, I don't have to be like, oh no, there's only like a month of, of Halloween to enjoy. Why did I make this Halloween themed bomb? Now I can just make fall bomb, and then I've got three months, and I don't have, and I can be lazy, and I don't have to hit every freaking holiday. See, that's what it's actually about. It's actually about being lazy. All right, let's go see how everyone's doing. Enter name here. I just love your Hinachi, and I just, I want to talk about them again. They're having bath time, and especially here, they're looking very onion-esque. Speaking of which, I have to make dinner here in like five minutes. But don't worry, Hinachi will not be on the menu. Oh yeah, Bandai released some more information about the Vital Bracelet. I haven't watched it yet, but it does look so far like there's just growing Digimon, and you do things out in the real world, and stuff happens. And it's, I mean, I already pre-ordered it. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? Look, I'm not your source for Digimon news, okay? Like, with the will, the Humulos, you got, you, you have options, okay, for Digimon news hot off the presses, okay? I've already pre-ordered it, so, like, my, my, oh, there's a dude running. Hold on a sec, oh, I can, could that be me? Is that what they're saying? Hold on a second. Well, I was about to say, I already pre-ordered it, so it's not like I can un-pre-order it, but that, that sold me. Never mind. If I get to be a big buff hologram, that's money well spent. XH John says, Joe Gressing really gets those evolutions quickly. This morning they were Frigimon, and now they're Aegisdramon, which I can't not see as just a hedgehog about to perform laser surgery. I mean, not, not that that's a bad thing. It's a good, it's a good Digimon. Epic Pikachu's got a couple of devices with some good mons. They say they're almost to the ultimate stage, and I do like what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm, I'm turning my head sideways. That's that's, a, that's like a Zubamon type, yeah? And then over to the side, I don't know about that one. But then on the right side, we've got some good classic boys. We've got what looks like Metal Greymon, and I thought maybe that was Were Gururumon, but it seems like they're on all fours. I haven't played with a version 20th in so long, 
that I just, I've gone and dumped all of my information out of my head on what their sprites are. This is one of the reasons I'm really looking forward to the Vital Bracelet is because the sprites are just higher res and there's colors. Colors are going to change the game on my memory for Digimon. It's going to be great. I'm going to like pull up pictures and I'm going to be like, Epic Pikachu has Boy Man. And everyone's going to be like, wow, Kakujo knows what he's talking about. It's going to be swell. I, I can't wait. While I'm a little concerned about the care mistake that I got this morning, I, I guess it's fine. I do appreciate the Pendulum Z's many joe-gressing paths. I think regardless of what happens, we're going to see a pretty good Mon. I mean, we've only done one run. How can we, how could we possibly end up with the same Digimon we've got before? That would just be impressive in another way. Yeah, you know? That's all for today, though. Everyone, thanks for hanging out. Thank you, patrons, for supporting my channel, especially Shifter, Dog Trainer 89, and Kitsy Fluff. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Have a good one.